pulse crops like peas, dry beans, lentils, and chickpeas play a huge role in healthy diets in countries around the world. And as Russell Nimitz shares with us in this morning's Montana Ag feature, they're also a powerful and versatile crop for Montana farmers who can use them to improve soil health and generate some income from local and global markets. People are finding out that uh, pulses aren't just for soups, you can use them in just about everything and the ingredient market is huge. The pulse crop acreage across Montana is exploding and for good reason. It's consumer demand like this that has farmers like Circle's Jerry Schillinger interested in raising pulse crops. Well, it's, it's got to be huge. We're the number one pulse growing state in the nation. So it's added, especially to Northeast Montana, now starting to move into the triangle. And I got to visit with an old friend here yesterday that had his first chickpea crop this year. In and it was like uh, manna from heaven, really, for them. He had, he had a, a nice crop and good prices, and it's really uh, taken some of the edge off the situation we've been in and the other crops. During Montana Pulse Day in Great Falls, the event drew farmers who were new to raising pulses to those like Mike Waters from Freud, who has been raising them since 1996. Well, the reason we got into pulses was to kind of replace summer fall and uh, maybe uh, defray that cost of summer falling. Uh, but since we got into it, we've, we've made money raising pulses, so we've just stuck with them. And it's uh, improved our, our wheat and, and durum uh, production besides. It's been a beneficial rotation. Like other commodities, farmers are also finding it a lot easier these days to sell their pulse crops here in Montana. I think when we first started, we, it was important to have a market for our contract for them right away. But that was because the, we, the processing plants and, and the, the buyers were so far away. But I think now with the, the increase in processes and buyers in the, in the state of Montana, you know, you could, you could uh, store them and, and uh, uh, sell them later. And besides the agronomic and economic benefits, raising pulses is also good for Montana's wildlife population. And it's just an all around holistic thing. Uh, it's a fantastic thing for the wildlife too. It's just, it really makes farming a lot more exciting and fun. As consumer demand for foods made from pulses continues to grow, we'll continue to see more Montana farmers raise them. Because as we've learned, not only is it a good sound agronomic decision, it also just makes good old fashioned dollars and cents. I'm Russell Nimitz reporting MTN News. And Russell also tells us over 80% of the pulse crops grown in the United States are grown by farmers in Montana and North Dakota.